How's it going folks? We've got something pretty cool today. I picked this up from the local shops. This is a Vegito figurine, aptly titled The Vegito. I like that title, that's a good one. Um, yeah, I've had my eye on this for quite a while. And uh, yeah, let's just get straight into unboxing it and having a look at how this looks. There we are. Let's open it up. There he is. Ooh, I can already tell the detail looks pretty sick. Now let's bring it up. I think we'll just grab it by the figurehead. Ooh, I see. So, at the moment, he seems to the ah oh, yeah the arm seems to come off, which is pretty nice. I don't think I don't think that happens with any of the other arms. No. So th this is more like a statue, but you know what? I'm not mad at all. I think that does look pretty cool. Right, let's grab the arm. I think that's inside here. Yeah. Let's grab that. That's the key blade here. The spirit sword. And let's grab his arm. Okay. Now, I think there was something else actually in the box as well. Ah, here we go. Furiously grabbing it. It's a stand. Very cool. Bandai Namco stand. There we are. Uh, well, first of all, we've got our boy here. Let's put in the arm. I don't think there's anything. Yep, there we go. First of all, just this alone looks sick. Look at the detail on that Patara earring. OMG, this looks good. And let's put the spirit sword into it. So I'm, it's actually a very specific way of putting it in. There we go. So straight off the bat, this looks sick. I love the detail. The paint looks fantastic. I mean, just like this alone without the stand. I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm very impressed. Very high quality. Let's put him on the stand. And uh, I'll showcase some different angles as well. If I can figure out how this works. Is that is that how it works? I don't want to ruin the thing already. There we go. So this is what it looks like here. Let's get some different angles. I'm taking a closer look at the figure right now. And just having a look at the muscle definitions and the details on the tunic and undershirt, it essentially looks like it's a page from the manga come to life. They've done a good job with the paint, it doesn't look like anything's out of place or miscolored or anything like that. And that's everywhere on the figure, including the shoes as well. And the keyblade is made with quite a nice bit of detail as well. Overall, I think for the price, it's really well made, there's nothing really wrong with it. It's a nice piece to add to the collection. Thank you for watching this short review. Have yourselves a good one.